today I'm going to be talking about the products that come in the January 2019 customer kudos. Pretty sure I said 2018 in my last video. I don't know for sure. I'm not worried about it. Moving on. This month, this kudos, you're going to get your choice of an Epic Mascara. You can pick between black, waterproof, black, or brown. You get to pick your choice of the Splash Liquid Lipstick, including three new nude shades. They're absolutely beautiful. And you get to build out your own custom quad palette, which includes this palette and the four pressed shadows to come in it. You, like I said, you get to pick. There's like over 40 or 50 to choose from, including eight new nude shades. I think they did it on purpose because that's kind of tricky to stay fast. Anyways, today I'm going to be applying Delirious, Gentle, Astute, and Discreet. So let's get started. If you have watched any of my videos, you know I cannot stand not having anything on my lips. I just think lips give you a really finished look. I love the Splash Liquid lipsticks. Before I apply the lipstick though, I'm gonna talk about a couple of different products. One is the Lip Exfoliator. This is really great at getting rid of, I have this hair right here, there we go. Getting rid of any dry skin that you have, perfect for the month of January, literally any day, but uh, gets rid of that dry skin and any makeup you may have gotten on your face. So I just use my finger, kind of rub that in and you can see the dead skin just on there. So this is one of those like things that it's gross, but you like to watch, you know what I mean? Anyways, I'm gonna use my cloth and I'm gonna wipe that off. It has sugar in it as well as shea butter so your lips feel hydrated. Look at that, so just get it, oh, oh. It is like so satisfying, I love it. Then I'm gonna take, I'm gonna put in a little bit of more, a little bit more moisture. I am gonna be using the Lip Bon Bon in, what is this? Raspberry cheesecake. I looked at it three times. I got it. Anyways, I love the lip bon bons because they're lightly tinted, but they're so moisturizing. Love it. So now I'm gonna apply the Splash Liquid Lipstick Stellar. This is a darker nude that we've had for a little bit. I like to take the excess and wipe it off in the tube of the bottle. Start in the center of my lips and kind of work my way out. how nice that glides on. These are so pigmented. Rub my lips together. Apply a little bit more. If you, my tip is, if you wanna make sure that this lip color really stays in place and doesn't come off, use your setting powder to set it. Amazing, I've done videos and tutorials on that before. Um, the other thing I really, really like about the Splash Liquid Lipstick, I've talked about this so many times. To me, it's the benefits of a lipstick and a lip stain in one product because it's creamy like a lipstick, but the color lasts. I know, right? So let's move on to eyes. Now I'm gonna do a really simple eye look. I will tell you anytime before I put on my eye pigments, I make sure to use my Moodstruck Eye Primer. This is gonna prevent your pigments from creasing. It's gonna help those colors pop. It's gonna hold your eye makeup in place all day long. It's amazing. I've used drugstore and compared to Unique, doesn't cut it. I'll tell you, I use so much less product when I use my eye primer. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in with Discreet. I know it's hard to see on camera, but it's a really nice light matte pink color. Put that on the side of my deluxe brush. Helps if I have a mirror. I'm like going like this. I'm like, you don't wanna see me sideways the whole time. There we go. Where did I even put, there we go. My little handy dandy mirror. And I'm gonna put this all over my eyelid because I want to have a nice, even color all over my eyelid. And I'm doing a really simple look today. So it's even more important because there's not gonna be a lot of detail or intricacy to the look. And I just want it to look fabulous. Okay, so once you have the base, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my fluffy crease brush. I'm gonna take that Astute, which is a really nice light, matte brown color. I love to use this in my crease as a transition color when I'm building my pigments or just to put a little bit of depth back into my eye because I just even the tone out with discreet. Like I said, a really nice matte light pink color and this just helps give your eye that depth. It's kind of like you know how you contour, like I contour with my face to add that dimension back into my face? I'm just adding that dimension 
back into my eyes with that fluffy crease brush with a stoot. Doesn't that look nice? Like I literally could just be good with this, okay? But you know me, I like to kick it up a notch. So I'm gonna take that Delirious and this is like a metallic rose color. Uh, I really like it. I keep forgetting what side I put the product on though. And I'm just pressing that color all over my eyelid. You wanna press those metallics so that way you don't have metallic flying everywhere and it's gonna allow that color to really pop. Look at that. Because I put on that eye primer and I created a really nice base. Oh, I love it, you all, love it. I am gonna take my blending brush and just lightly blend out to make sure I don't have a harsh line. Like this is where the metallic started and ended very clearly. I'm gonna take my crease brush dust that along my lower lash line just to kind of smoke it out, bring the look full circle, literally around your eye, right? And then last but not least, I'm gonna go back in again with that deluxe brush, and I'm going to take this color gentle. This is a really nice light pink champagne color. Go in with the side of my deluxe brush, and I'm gonna press that right in the inner corner and along the inner lower lash line. That's just gonna help brighten everything up. So that's it, that's all I'm gonna do. Super easy peasy. I love this palette, you all. Love it, just such a really nice, clean look. All right, now on to lashes. lashes. Is to make sure and put that Epic Mascara down your shirt at the beginning of your makeup process. It just warms it up and allows it to go onto your lashes so much smoother because it's body temperature. You could also place it in a cup of warm water with the lid sealed very tightly because you don't want any water to get in the tube of the mascara. I feel like that's something I could easily mess up. So just stick it down my shirt. And I love the Epic Mascara. This is just the regular black because it curls your lashes, lengthens them, volumizes them in a way that looks very natural. I get asked all the time if these are my natural lashes and I can proudly say yes. I don't have falsies on. It's just this amazing mascara that curls them and does everything I want them. Like nobody believes that my lashes aren't long because of the Epic Mascara. I wear it every day, no matter what makeup look I'm doing. And then if you really wanna take it up a notch, once that has dried, you can go back in with a second coat. And I normally kind of really try to get in there at the root and pull it through the lashes and put it on top of my lashes as well. So kind of just coat the ends, tops of my lashes, and then really get in at the root. Spread those lashes out. So there you have it. If you have any questions about this month's kudos, please do not hesitate to ask. If you like these types of videos where I talk about the kudos and put a tutorial on there as well, give me a thumbs up, let me know in the comments below, and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.